Yeah, my uh, shop teacher in high school, he uh, decided to do archery one day just because he thought it was neat. Went over to an archery range and he got like a private tutor. So yeah, last night I, uh, I almost died. Oh yeah, what happened? Um, I'm supposed to lower my dosage as I lose weight. DMP? Yeah, and I thought I could get away with it. I was what vomiting, uh, my crap was black. Oh yeah, shit. Sure. bleeding. So did you go to the hospital and everything? No, I didn't go to the hospital. Yeah. Okay, it's kind of stupid. The shot! Dude, the rain looks, the, the rain is gonna look sick. Everybody who's gone to the hospital, they died anyways. So what I, I just, I drank lots of liquids. Uh, I saw in your shrooms video that you took shrooms because you wanted to like increase your creativity and people get yeah, smarter. Yeah, creativity. Yeah. Um, what do you think about? Mind up to new things. So that's the, the extreme version of taking a vegetable and increase right. your creativity because obviously that. There's some theories that think that um, the uh, whatever makes up the mushroom is kind of like neurons, right? Like, I've never heard of that before. Uh, um, okay. I know it can help activate the right side of your brain. Right. Yeah. 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 You, you, you like kind of shut down the left, the yeah, logical side, yeah, the self-critical side. The left yeah. side of your brain, and then your right side becomes more active. There's a theory that I heard that um, says that the whatever the components that makes up the psilocybin are actually found also in neurons. So like when yeah. you take mushrooms, it's just kind of like two neurons connecting. So you're just eating a brain. And there's a further out theory that says that neuron that's in the mushroom is actually being planted by aliens. I won't yeah. go that far, but it's possible. Uh, I don't know. Interesting idea because when you take mushrooms, it's like you're being given knowledge by yeah. something. Yeah. Like it's hard to explain if you haven't done it yourself, but it feels like you're being given knowledge. So you can see why somebody would think that. Yeah. And also I think the difference between like mushrooms and other psychedelics like acid is that have you taken acid? No. Okay, um, I think mushroom when you eat it, 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 it feels much more like much more earthly like mm. much more like the visuals that you get and the feelings are much closer to like okay. mother earth and when you take acid it's more like electricity like electronic shit like spaceships and stuff. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's interesting. Yeah. What do you think about like vegan diets and its, and its effects on the brain and creativity? Like before you went vegan and after, do you, do you notice any differences in cognitive abilities or? Um, it definitely uh, improved my mental health. Uh, it really helped with my depression. Like before, I just wanted to kill myself every fucking day, and I just dreaded existing. And the vegan diet helped me enough to where, like, I could get up in the morning and I could look forward to the day. And uh, I also suffered from hallucinations before I went vegan, uh, really bad. Like I, like one time I saw like flesh melt off people's skulls and shit. Like that's how bad the hallucinations were. Then after I went vegan, the hallucinations went from like four or five days out of the week to once or twice every few weeks. So it really helped a lot. And then uh, cutting out caffeine almost eliminated them completely. So caffeine played a role there too. That's cool. But uh, yeah. My first question is, uh, for transitioning, yeah. should you be, should you just go cold turkey, become vegan, or should you like supplement slowly your foods until you're fully vegan? I just went cold turkey overnight and it was perfectly fine for me. Uh, I know some people have like weird digestive issues where if they go vegan right away they like sh can't stop shitting, so I don't know, maybe depending on if you have issues, like maybe to slowly transition if you have those digestive problems, but I don't think there's anything really other than that that make you think maybe you should transition slowly. And uh, what protein sources do you think a bodybuilder should be using for the, a vegan? Okay, uh, well, um, as far as protein supplements, you don't absolutely need them. They kind of come in handy, especially if you're like dieting, but um, I think hemp protein's really good. Uh, pea protein is really good. Those are like my two biggest recommended ones. Uh, hemp protein especially because it's super high in zinc. 
Um, yeah, like protein powder just comes in handy, like especially when you're dieting and you kind of have to select your foods a little more carefully. Yeah. So that's when it really comes in handy, but you know, if you're a pretty active person or you're bulking or something, you really don't need protein powder. Yeah. So, and what's a, why, where do you think this like ignorance and myth comes about eating vegan foods where you're going to be more fat, your baby's going to die? Where do you think this comes from? Is any of it true? Could you tell me where it kind of came from, why people may think like that? I've never heard of somebody eating meat, like you must have all these problems, right? So yeah. I think that's mainly where it comes from. Also, I'm sure there's like industry kind of pressure kind of pushing these myths. And uh, just a lot of idiots pushing these protein myths. Like I think the idea that the, uh, the myth estrogen? that you can't get no, you oh. can't get a complete protein from a vegan diet. That actually came from uh, Vogue magazine back in the seventies. Oh wow! Like, it wasn't even any people sort of just take that as fact. But yeah. obviously now we don't take things yeah, from magazines like, as fact. Yeah, like the well, just these weird ideas. They just work their way into kind of popular culture. Everybody I know that's a bodybuilder, they're all saying the same thing. They're all saying like, <clears throat> oh fuck, if you're vegan, the estrogen levels are too high, right, you're gonna right. get, especially bodybuilders who do steroids. Right. But what would, uh, you, what do you, do you know much about the steroid oh, issue? Like, okay, yeah. well, if they're on steroids, it's fucking retarded that they'd be worried about estrogen because like, most of them are on aromatase inhibitors. Exactly, yeah. estrogen from building Yeah, up, that's so. why I don't get it. Like, yeah. they, they, I think it's, it, it is just pure ignorance. Yeah, yeah. And, and there are a lot of vegan bodybuilders. High fiber diets actually get rid of estrogen in your body. Um, it's especially, this especially affects women because they menstruate, but uh, high estrogen levels are, are caused by a low fiber diet. Fiber actually soaks up estrogen in your colon and oh, it removes wow. it from circulation in your system. So if women who have especially high like, peer, like menstrual flow and have a lot of cramps, uh, if they increase their fiber intake, it usually makes their you know, menstrual flow normal and they get rid of cramps because they have lower estrogen in their, in their system. BBC video. When you do a video on people, like what? What's your process? Like, do you, do, do you watch a lot of their videos? Do you, like, like, um, yeah. I mean, I I usually just watch a few of their videos, and I kind of I like to get a sense of just who they are. yeah, who they are, their sort of personality, and um, I kind of work that into the comedy that right. I do, mm -hmm. and then. Yeah, I mean, I guess I deliberately try to find ways to humiliate them and mm. hurt them, like, on an emotional level to harm their ego. Yeah. So that's part of it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, like, other than that, I just try to think of funny ways that I can kind of prove them wrong and then work in, like, a sort of skit. Like, how, how long is the process of, like, pre um, pre preparation for a video? Like, do you write it down or do you script well, it? Well, um... Yeah, like, I have to script it. Like, I have to write a script. Um, for a Worst of the Fitness Industry video, it usually takes about two full days, like, working nonstop to write a script. Like So, so I mean, just writing the script takes probably two days. Like, and I mean two full, like, working days. I mean, I wake up at 9 o'clock, and then and, until, like, 12 o'clock at night, I'm working on the script, and then same the next day, and then I can actually film. Okay, yeah, so, so in the, the filming, how, how long does that take? Um, it used to take, like probably five to eight hours to film, but now that I have the teleprompter, okay. it takes a lot less time. So usually around two, three hours now. And then- Because I don't have to redo lines so much. Do you ever improvise like during the shoot or it's pretty much just spot on for, from what um, the script it's is? Like 99% of the time it's scripted. Maybe sometimes it's improvis pro improvisation, uh, but very, very rare. Yeah. And also uh, the editing process, how, like how long is that? Uh, that takes a shit ton, ton of time. Because you do a lot of animation. Like, and yeah, stuff, yeah, probably like eight hours for like a worst of the fitness industry, sometimes longer. 
Yeah, it's basically all day. So you, you said that editing is your favorite part, right? Or, yeah. Um, yeah, me too. Editing, I mean, shooting, like filming, it's kind of frustrating having to do it. I'd yeah. rather just put everything together rather than film. Yeah. Like, I like writing. I like editing. I just don't Same. like filming. Yeah, I don't like filming either. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather just, like, dream up an image of you in my mind and have it transferred yeah. into, like, hopefully in the future we talk about AI, I could do yeah, that. Yeah, totally. And then we could, like, change the image into, like, animation. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I'd, like, make a whole movie, just sit in your room and just think... Oh, you're born just, at the wrong time, buddy. Oh, we're going we're gonna to make it, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In this lifetime, I think, I think we're going to do it. If we go vegan and live longer, then we yeah, could probably do it. Yeah, don't do DMP. All right. <laughs> So sexy. You look better in camera than you do in real life. Yeah. Ah!